All right, all right. Good evening, guys, and thank you so much for joining me, Kelly, with Elevated Agent for tonight's free Canva training. We do try to do these once a month. Um, and usually I try to have them on Wednesday evenings around six o'clock. So I appreciate everybody coming and joining us live and um, being involved and being active. All of the people in the chat, amazing. I love to see where everyone is from. So if you're just jumping in, feel free to drop where you're from, what you're doing, um, maybe what you're making for dinner. I don't know, that could be kind of fun, right? I just pulled a pizza out of the oven for my kiddos. Um, so hopefully they won't come up here. <laughs> I like threaten them with everything. But so tonight what we're going to be training on is email. Um, this has become a really popular topic and um, template that we sell on our websites. Um, uh, really kind of ramping up the last four or five months. Oh, Lakeisha. Let's see here. And uh, so what I want to do, and I think that it's really important for you guys to understand how to properly use the templates that you're purchasing from Elevated Agent, uh, because I want you to truly get the most out of your templates as possible. Okay, our mission is to make your life as a real estate agent as easy as possible. We're trying to save you time, and these trainings are really just supposed to layer on top of that, so that way you can make sure you're getting everything out and hopefully um, answering some of your questions as we go. If you have a question during this training, feel free to leave that in the box to the side of the screen here. I will be checking and reading those throughout the evening as we go. So that all being said, um, let me just double check. We don't have anyone. I'm going to start sharing my screen and we are going to get started. So the first place that we're going to start is in Canva. Of course, it's like my third child. We love Canva. So... Here we go. Again, I will have my chat box open to the side. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop that there in the side box. Let me get all of my stuff set up here. Just a second. Perfect. All right, here we go. So now um, I just want to double check. Drop me a line in the chat box if you guys can see my screen. Everything looks good. Okay, here we go. That's better. <clears throat> so we're going to start out in Canva and find our... Thanks, Vanita. Um, we're going to find our um, newsletter templates, which are right here. I actually already have them open. So you're used to seeing our larger newsletter template, which looks like this. Um... I love these. These are amazing to print and send. You can even send them through the mail. Typically how we do that through the mail is we would put a blank piece of paper on the outside or even scrunch down maybe this first page and only have it to be half of the page on the image. So it'd be like right here down would be the image and information and up here would be the spot that you would put your mailing label. So we're not going to go into depth of how we're, how you can use this as a printed um, newsletter. Tonight, we are talking solely about emailing the newsletter. Um, if you guys would like an additional uh, training on mailing and farming newsletters, drop a note in the chat box. And if we get enough people that would like to do something like that, we might do the next training on that. So I just wanted to show you, this is what an eight by 10, excuse me, eight and a half by 11 looks like from our newsletter. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're going to turn it into an email that you can send out. So now we've already done this for you every month. We do create an eight and a half by 11 newsletter and we create a email newsletter as well. And so this has everything in the same printed newsletter and we've condensed it into what we're going to call image blocks. So as you can see here, these images that you can see, these are what we're going to call our image blocks. Okay, all these great blocks here. Okay, so then what you wanna do is you're going to, let me move some more of my stuff here. We're going to come down here to download. We're gonna download as a PNG. We're gonna do all the pages. If you didn't wanna do all the pages, you would click on this arrow here and you would uncheck all pages and then you would just check whatever box you wanted to download. If you just wanted page, let's say if you just wanted page two, this client review, then you would only click page two 
to download. See how it says page two? Okay. So now we're going to download all of them. We want all pages one through five, so we're going to download that one. And we're going to jump over to our larger image blocks. Do you see how this is smaller? So we're going to size everything to be 600 pixels wide. And then what we're going to um, change is how, excuse me, I'm trying to get this out. Um, what we're going to change is how tall the image blocks are. So this image block right here is 200 high by 600. 600 is going to be our constant. And then our larger ones are going to be 600 by 400. So we've increased it by 200 pixels there. So it's double the size. So here are our large block. So once you edit this with your information in Canva, then you're going to download all of the pages. You're going to want to edit all of this before you get into constant contact. Okay, so you would want to put in your client review and all of that here. You could put your name here. You could put your logos here, anything like that. If you do not have a way to give someone an instant home value, then you probably aren't going to want this box. Okay, so now that we've updated everything we absolutely want in our newsletter and we have downloaded it out of Canva, now it's on our computer. As you can see right down here, I have my zip file. So I'm just going to click one time. And this is going to open up inside of my downloads here on my computer. As you can see, we've got small blocks. It looks like the large blocks didn't unzip. Okay, so now we have small blocks and large blocks. That is how I label mine. So that way I can remember um, exactly which one I need. And don't forget, if you guys have questions throughout this training, feel free to drop those questions in the chat box because I am um, answering those as we go. Okay, so I'm already in my constant contact. So this, you could log into constant contact, Flowdesk, MailChimp. If you just go to Google and you email, or excuse me, and you Google email software, any of those are going to come up. Now, they do kind of start to get expensive once you hit, I'm going to say once you hit like a thousand to two thousand people on your email list, um, it is going to get a little bit more expensive. I think I have about uh, 6,500 people, 6,000, between 6,000 and 6,500 on our email list. And um, I'm like right under $200 a month for email marketing. So make sure that if you're signing up for that, um, that you're using it. So we don't want to do this at a cost when we're not utilizing it. A lot of your brokerages are going to allow you to do email marketing through their platforms, which is great. You should be able to do this same process on those platforms. Okay, so just keep in mind, it's not necessarily about um, what platform you're on. It's really more about the steps. Um, Synfox should work just fine. We are going to admit everyone in. All right, so we are going to just start from scratch. We're going to select this one here. These are all the templates they offer. I don't hardly ever use their templates because I pretty much just make everything straight in Canva. <laughs> All right, so it is literally giving us a blank slate, which I love. All we're going to do at this point is we're going to build out what the email is going to look like. So really, we just need some image blocks. And I'm just going to put these all like this. So a lot of times I will like a divider in between my main header image and then the rest of the block. So that's, I'm going to put a divider there. Okay, so now that we have, when will we get our copy of the newsletter? Um, probably tomorrow or Friday. <clears throat> Okay, so now that we have this kind of built out, what we're gonna do is we're going to fill in these image blocks. So if you click on it, it's gonna come up and we're gonna hit replace. So now what we need to do is we need to upload all of our images that we downloaded out of Canva into here. There are other ways um, to do this. So if you have another way, please don't stop doing it, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. Okay, so now we just, I just slid all of the images from our download folder into constant contact. Um, as you can see here, these are all of the blocks that we're going to use tonight. Okay, so we're going to hit upload files. 
constant contact is going to do its magic trick here. Okay, we've got green check boxes. That's great. We're going to hit done. All right, so as you see, it's blurry, right? Like, ooh, nobody wants to use one of these blurry images. What the heck, man? So don't worry. It's not going to look like that when you put it in there. So I know this one is our cover image just by looking at it. So let's go ahead and select that. And then right here, it says insert. We're going to insert this image. This is going to be our, um, this is our header image. So we want to make sure that it is here on top. But now look, it's like super small, right? So what we want to do is we're going to click on it and see these arrows here. We're going to drag it until we can't drag it anymore. So now you can see it is much bigger, it is not blurry, and you can read this. So if you feel like your clients might not um, be able to read some of this, you can always go back into um, Canva and edit it. Let's see, let's see if it'll let me do this. I haven't done this in a while. It was, I was really excited to see Canva inside of here. Um, however, it is a little jinky right now. This is a new feature that they're offering. So it's interesting to see that they have. All right, yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, so gosh, okay, how do I get out of that? Uh-oh. Go away, Canva. Oh, wait, here we go. It's not a new feature in Canva, Vanita. It's um, it's actually a feature in Constant Contact that allows you to edit inside of Canva from Constant Contact's platform. We are seeing this across a lot of different platforms. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to just refresh. However, I do feel like Canva might have been a little ahead of the game because, like that, you just saw it's still a little wonky. I would say it is freezing my computer or um, it's only allowing you to build in Canva from like that screen. You can't have, you don't have access to your other products in, that you've already created in Canva. So I don't tend to use it just yet. I think at some point they will have it figured out and it'll be amazing. But for now, we're going to do it like this. All right. So having to start over a little bit, we're, okay, we're going to make our images bigger. So I like to kind of vary um, the image block sizes. Okay, Char, I'm not understanding your questions. When an email brochure is purchased, okay, does it automatically come into Canva the large? Yes. So I think I do actually understand. Um, so when you purchase the email newsletter, let me pull one up here and you're going to see email. This is what the this is what the doc will look like when you purchase. So then um, this one, usually I do like small block here, this link, and then large block here. So you'll actually get two different links to Canva. One will be small blocks and one will be large blocks. I hope that answers your question. Okay, so now we're going to really just start continuing, or I guess continue to um, fill out our newsletter. Okay, so we're gonna do this, replace that. Let's do our review. So you see how I'm doing like small, large, small, large, and you could even do, let's see, let's see. Let's do this one. And then we're going, oh, and then we're going to do, I think I might have messed up. And then we're going to do get their home value. Okay. Market update. There it is. Who else loves the little jackpots for the market update? I thought that was pretty clever if I don't see it myself. Okay, so we're just, I'm just going in quickly and making these bigger. That's all I'm doing. I'm just clicking and dragging on the corners here like click, drag. Okay, so it's already starting to look pretty darn nice, right? I also like, um, again, here you can see I put this divider. It makes it look a little bit more like, okay, header and then your divider and then content. 
Um, you could also do, if you wanted to put like, let's say an image and then, so do you see this, this line, this pink line? That is how you know where you're dropping your content. And I think most platforms um, have this as an option. So you can see if I put text here, it's going to add this text above this. But what if you wanted a picture of yourself? Let's see, I'm gonna just pick one. Y'all are gonna think I'm so vain with all these photos of myself, right? Let me find just a picture of me. Okay, here we go. Here's one of me and my friend Annette. All right, so we have this picture, but let's say I want this text to this, this side, right? So if you click on this, sorry, if you hover on this and you take this little mover guide and it tells you click and drag. So you click it and we're dragging it. So you see our magenta line. Okay, so my text could go over my picture or it can go under my picture. But if you hover over the picture and then you go to whatever side you want it to hit, go to, you can actually move this. Hold on, it's not wanting to do what I want it to do. You can actually move this to beside your picture. There we go. See that magenta line on the side or on the side there? Okay, so now we're going to put our text to the side of our image. I don't know why this one's not allowing me to move it, but I'm supposed to. Anyways, we're going to get rid of this one. So if you wanted to, you could even write like your own welcome um, entrance to the month, you know, or whatever, like, hello, it's March, something like that. You could have your own picture there if you wanted. So I'm just going to delete these out of here, though. Okay, so then we have our large block, we have a smaller block, large block, smaller block. So now we need some more blocks, right? Um, hello, everyone that is just now joining, feel free to jump on in, grab a drink, get comfortable. We are right in the middle of our training here. Um, okay, so now we're also going to add in our team update or personal update for what you have sold so far this year. I'm gonna make that bigger. I think that feels like a really nice spot for that. Let's put a divider in there. We're gonna do a divider above and below it so that way it maybe stands out just a little bit more. Okay, look how much we've done this, this month and year, how awesome. All right, so now we're going to add one more. We are just going to continue to add until we are done. So it looks like we have two more blocks to add. One's going to be our cheers block, and one's going to be another one uh, for your lawn care. Okay, replace. I'm just going to throw both these in at one time. There you are. My eyes get glazed over after staring at this stuff for so long. Okay, so again, we're gonna make them as big as possible. All right, so as you can see, um, this is probably not how you would want it to look. You would probably want the cheers block to be the very last one um, because it's kind of like your email closer, right? So all you would need to do again is click and drag. And so we're gonna switch those out. I am gonna put a, yet another divider in here. So that way you can like say goodbye. Also, um, if you wanted to put a little uh, note or something with your email, this would be a great place to do it as well. So now we have all of our content inside of our email, correct? It actually looks great. This is such a good newsletter. I love this one. I love the green. It's very popping. Um, you have your monthly to do for your home maintenance. Um, then we have our client review. Then we come into our market update. And if you guys don't want to put these lists here, you don't have to. You can move these around inside of Canva and make them bigger and just do one block with this market update. Okay, I just like to go and I like to make sure everything's in place. So now we have, click here to receive an instant home value. We're talking about our home information here. So how we do this is we're going to go to our own website. This is where the people would go to get their instant value. Vanita, we um, release kind of like a special, a limited edition um, 
monthly newsletter usually has a little bit more pop on it um, and that is different correct from the one year worth of newsletters okay so for this one we're going to go to selling what's my home worth we're just going to grab the url off of this web page so we're going to go here and we're going to just copy and paste that we're going to go back to our constant contact and i would like to take this one this one it's almost deleted it and this one if anybody clicks anywhere on these three image blocks, I want them to go straight to this website. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to click on the image blocks and then these little chains, that's a link, we're gonna take it to a different web page, and then we're just gonna paste our link right in here. Now, while I have this open, this is a really, really cool feature that everyone should use and nobody probably does because you might not know what it means. So as a real estate agent, I think this is one of the number one reasons you should even be sending out these emails is because anybody that clicks on any of these links, I would consider them a decently warm lead. Um, so how we're going to figure this out is we're going to put in this URL and we're going to click this box. So what this means is it's going to enable this email to segment anyone that clicks on these boxes, okay? So you're going to want to have a list of people, a contact list, I'm trying to think of how to say this without confusing you guys. Uh, you're gonna wanna create a contact list that says home valuation prospects, okay? And then that's going to be one of these lists down here. As you can see, I have so many different contact lists. So anytime anyone clicks, we'll just do that. Anytime anyone clicks on this link or this link or this link, because we're going to put this one in here too, right? We're going to click that. Okay. So if anytime anyone clicks these three links, they will automatically be added to that contact list that you created. Now, why is that important? It's important because one week, no, not even that, one day after you send out this email, we are going to go look at that list and we are going to see how many people clicked on these, and then all of those people will now be in a new email link, okay? So then I would get on the horn and I would call every single one of these people who clicked on these boxes to get their home value. You're going to call, text, you're in call is probably your best option. If you don't wanna call, text, that's your next best option. If you don't wanna text or call, then you can email. Clearly they're getting their emails. Um, and so then you're going to say, Hey, I saw that you were interested in a home value. I don't know what happened. If maybe like the link didn't work or whatever, but I just wanted to let you know, I'm going to email you a personalized one for free, or I'm going to drop it off at your house or whatever. These people are interested in what their home value is. It's the reason why they're clicking on these image blocks. Okay. So if they're interested in what their home value is, that's a decent sign that they are probably interested in selling. So that is the reason why we want to do this, this list segmentation. Does anyone have any questions on that? Because it is a little confusing, but it's also a very important step. I, that's a really good question, John. The one that I just showed um, is it automatically generates it. I don't love it. It's okay. But um, I always, I'm one, so I, when I was a real estate agent selling every day, I don't sell all the time now, but I used home valuations as a huge lead, lead generation generator for me because I was focused on listings. Home valuations right now, you guys, this could be your number one lead generator and it's pretty low cost. I'm not gonna say it's free. Um, however, I would email anyone that went to there, even if they got an auto-generated one. And I would say, you know, sometimes it's off. So I'm going to send you a personalized one myself. Make them feel like, not, not just make them feel like, but actually have good customer service. 
that would be amazing if, if everyone could have the highest standard of customer service to be able to do that, how much your business would probably blow up. Um, and I know we're all so busy and customer service it seems like the last thing that we absolutely want to do, but honestly, it's free. And if you can make someone smile, they are going to tell someone else about that. So what I would do is I would go in and I would still give them a free home value that you did yourself. And I would also include some sort of checklist, probably. Um, it, it, Benita, it is instant. It is instant, but I'm still going to follow up with them with a personalized CMA. Um, I might even print it off and take it to their house and put it in their mailbox or in their door or ring the doorbell and hand it to them um, in, a, in a nice folder or something. I would do that. Um, very often I would usually take something with me. So at this time of year, um, like flowers and stuff aren't in season, like to plant or whatever. So I would maybe take a box of hot chocolate, you know, or a hot chocolate mug and their CMA and say, you know what, here, read this CMA over your hot chocolate because it's so cold out. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but honestly, like these are the little touches that are getting people listening. In this market, you have to stand out. And these are the little touches that are getting people listings. So if you're not getting listings off of these emails, at least some leads. I mean, if people aren't clicking to get this information, then we have a disconnect. Um, either the images aren't doing well um, for your audience or maybe the word isn't wording isn't correct for your audience. There's some sort of disconnect. And um, if that's the case, then you guys can email me. I'm happy to work through that with you guys. But I think that answered everyone's question. Um, I missed what vendor you use for the instant home valuation. Tracy, this is just on a website for a client that I manage all of their marketing. I believe they use Boomtown for this. Um, I used to use this one um, and it was called homevalueleads.com, I believe. And I really did like their back end. Unfortunately, they don't have an affiliate program. So if you want to try them, try them. I liked them, you know, homevalueleads.com, I believe is what they were called. Okay. Can we, we're going to move on now. Um, you can also, if you have this lawn care um, information, if you have created some sort of blog post, again, you can use the URL to push people back um, to, your, to your blog on this. So now we have created our beautiful and amazing email, right? It looks great. Okay, so now we need to customize our email settings. Now here is some interesting facts about emails, um, subject lines. They're very, very important. Your subject line is very important. What else is very important, and I would say just as important, is going to be your pre-header. Your pre-header in your email is, you can only customize this inside of an email um, software like this. You can't do this inside of like Gmail or anything like that. But this is where you can really catch eyes. And I would say, I would want your subject line to be catchy. A lot of times we like to say, don't miss out on the super important monthly maintenance tips. Or you could say you could do scare tactics are working very well in email subject lines right now. So you could say like, don't let your house freeze over if you don't do these home maintenance things <laughs> at the top of my head I can't think of it but I would say something like that also we need to be using emojis in our email lines that's right get creative with your emojis though don't just keep using that same house with the trees behind it um don't use that let's let's do something like okay let me think if I were to use this if I were to be sending out this email this month, let's see, we're talking spring, right? So we want, so they give you some options here. Um, but I don't love these options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my text messages on my computer and I'm going to use these verbs. I like the clover idea. 
thank you for dropping that link in there for people to get even more emojis. That's awesome. Um, I promise I won't get stuck like I do on the fonts typically. I'm looking for... I'm looking for something in particular. There's the four leaf clover. I got that. But then I also want sorry guys, I have something in mind. Alright, we're gonna do that. Okay, so I'm gonna say lucky for you. We Lucky for you, we bring yard tips in. Oh, I don't want the four-leaf closer clover. I want I want a tree because it's springtime. I was looking for grass, but I couldn't find grass. Okay, so pre-header, lucky for you, we have all the spring yard tips you need. Um, and then, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna open this back up and I might pull one thing. So your pre-header is going to be like a teaser. Um, so, Okay, I like this. So we're gonna use this as our pre-header. So it's already written. You don't even have to rewrite it, you guys. You don't have to recreate the wheel. That's the cool thing. Not sure we're starting your own lawn. We have a few things to do. We have a, we have, we have, say that. And then we're going to come back over to our emojis. And let's see. I am going to use my little girl. Here. We can help. Hey, over here. We can help. And then you know what? You can still customize your from name, which is amazing. If you don't want it to say your name, if you want it to say your team's name, or if you want it to say, let's say like you're sending out um, some like surprise for Christmas, you could even say like Santa Claus, you know, whatever. Super cool. I love how that you can change that if you wanted to get make a little bit more attention. So maybe instead of from your, you could write your favorite realtor, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, favorite realtor, there it is. And so here up at the top, you can have a pre, you have a preview of exactly what it would look like in someone's email. Um, so you can see where it's cut off your favorite realtor. So we could say, um, let's just say Topeka's number one realtor. And, that's, and then you could say, I don't know. Okay, there we go, save. Okay, so now we have our email built out. We have our description and head pre-header and who it's coming from. So, hi Robert, if we're making these, do we get the content from you using a platform like Constant Contact? Yes, Robert, that's exactly correct. If you want to catch up on the video, it will be posted on Facebook in the next 48 hours. Um, Okay, so then you can come over here and you can send a test or you can preview. So this is what it's going to look like on someone's desktop. And please note, if you see this brown box around the outside, that will be there. Um, so here it is on mobile. So this is what it would look like on someone's phone. And this is what it's gonna look like. Oh, well, I guess I have to upgrade for that. Not sure I'm ready for that. Um, okay, so email settings. I don't like the brown out on the outside. Oh, sorry. Um, come over to design on the left-hand side. 
and you can actually put a picture or you can like that. Let's see our background no. color. There we go. So, you know me, I'm a creams type of girl. So we're going to do a nice cream. I feel, I always feel like emails are much better in the lighter. Um, it is, there's been a lot of research done on, on light versus dark when it comes to um, cells. And the overwhelming majority of research has shown that anything with a lighter color background um, will always sell better. I guess I can't say always. I, would, I tell my kids, can't say always or never. Um, okay, so I like the color of the background better. You can also change your fonts um, and your button colors and uh, text and fonts, stuff like that. All right, so now we're going to hit continue. Now that we have it as right where we want it, then it comes here. It again, it shows you all of this information, which we already filled out. It gives you a little preview. Up here, I always recommend um, labeling it. I like the date, so I would just say we're going to send it out on Friday um, to be the 24th, 5th, um, and then name it March General. Gypsy's excited for March newsletter. Okay. Um, so that way you know it's just the general one in case you send out more than you normally. And then you would pick your people. You come over here and you would send it now or schedule for later. Um, I always just do, well, actually, that's not, I don't always just do. I'm going to, we're going to come back to this. And then we're going to resend to non openers. So what this means is that you get to pick a time to resend it to people that didn't open it the first time. Um, now, when you do this, you can also change your um, email subject line here. I wanted to show, um, I wanted to show you guys one thing here about when, when to send it. Let me see if I can. If you guys have any questions, right now is a great time to ask. We're about to wrap up. I am, I tried really hard this week to keep it within an hour. So let's see. I found it. Now I'm just trying to find the right page. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I just wanted to. Okay, do you have a video that goes more into detail on the Canvas setup? Yes, it will be. We have a um, whole YouTube channel. Okay, so we were talking earlier about um, open rates. And I do just want to say, I get this information from a guy named Jay Schwindelson. I'm probably just totally pitching that last name. But this is who I get my information from. He sends out... I. Uh, met him at a conference and he sends out such good information about email marketing. But here is an example of a fake mistake. We were talking earlier about um, doing your subject lines and so this is what he's talking about. So oops, you almost scrolled past this. So this is what I would um, use as a retargeting for when you resend it to non-openers. I would say something like, oops, Oops, you almost missed our favorite springtime yard tips. Oops. Oops, Ooh, lots of oops. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave the tree. So there is what he's talking about with the fake mistake. Um, so that would be a fake mistake. We're resending to non-openers. People that did not open the first time around, we're going to change the open subject line with a fake mistake. Okay, so this is showing um, business to business and business to consumer. Look, business to consumer. So if you guys were to send this to someone on your email list that might be interested in buying or selling or investing in real estate, your open rate increases by 37% if you use a fake open um, subject line. Super cool, right? Um, oh gosh, 
there was one. Okay, I just, I was trying to, show you guys, I was hoping I could find the stat where it was the perfect or the best time to send, um, anyways, emails. I don't, I can't find it on this one, um, PNG, PDF that I have. So anyways, the best time to send an email out of the entire week right now, data is showing us that it's actually drum roll Friday. Friday is the best day to send promotional emails. So that might be why you guys get an email from us on Fridays, yes. Um, so emotional emails go out Friday at 10 a.m. It's great. And then I always just have mine set up when I'm doing my resend. I have it set up to go out to my people that did not open. I always have it just go Monday morning in case they were out for the weekend or something like that. So um, that is what I would recommend. And then once all of this is done and ready to go, you just hit this button that says send now. I'm not going to do it, <laughs> but that is it. All right, guys. So that is all for my screen share here. Um, I hope that you guys got a lot of information out of this or at least a really good way of know what's going on with my camera um a much more let's say effective and efficient way of sending your email and just so you remember we will upload this video to our youtube page within the next 48 hours thanks robert um and if you guys have any questions feel free to just drop them in the comments i'll stay on for a couple more minutes to answer any questions that you guys might have um, my YouTube channel, I believe, is uh, Elevated Agent. It should probably also be on the bottom of the emails that you have received from us this week. Um, so I really appreciate everybody jumping on. Looking forward to YouTube. Okay, great. All right, guys. Well, that is it for me tonight. I hope everyone enjoyed. Feel free to um, let us know what you like. And you know what? Next time we send out that email, why don't you mail it back and tell me what you want to see us um, help you guys learn next time. So have a good evening and we will see you guys next month with the next month training. Oh, for those of you who stayed on till the very, very end, I have a really big surprise for you guys is that it's not really a surprise, but in case you forgot, because I don't think everyone just like keeps track of my birthday, but March is my birthday month. And we always do one of our biggest sales of the year for my birthday month, because I feel like everyone should celebrate their birthdays, only yours, right? Um, and so 50% off guys, first week of March, 50% off everything, everything in the store. So make sure you catch that the rest of the month. After that first week, it'll be 30% off. Um, thank you, Shannon. Um, and so we're also doing some giveaways. So I will be giving away $250 gift certificate every Friday in the month of March. So be on the lookout for that. We will be um, announcing that and, and actually doing the giveaway and everything over on Instagram. So make sure that you are a part of that. But being on our email newsletter list, you're already entered. So that's all you have to do. All right, guys. Thank you. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye.